Hello, and welcome to the five best targets to image in February. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners, and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! So welcome to February where we have five uh, deep sky targets for you to photograph, three for beginners and two for more, the more advanced uh, guys out there. So my favorite ones for February are a pair which is M81 and M82. It's Bode's galaxy as well as a cigar galaxy. I really really love the cigar galaxy that is so much red uh, HA. It's a starburst galaxy. So you can see it edge on with a bunch of HA coming out of it and it's just fantastic. If you have the time to spend some uh, some long exposures on it, you can also get some IFN which is um, some like darkish clouds um, within the whole image and it's just amazing looking if you if you spend enough time on it from a very very dark zone. And uh, yeah, those are my two favorite ones. And uh, another one we'll suggest because those were pairing and another one we'll suggest is M44, which is the Beehive Cluster. It's very beautiful, it's like very open, and it's not too difficult to get. So if you're looking for one of the easier ones, this would be it. That's a very, very bright one, yes. And then a third target for beginners is the Galaxy M106 in the constellation of the hunting dogs, which is Canes Venatici, whatever, I don't know how to say it. Anyway, a Latin word. A Latin constellation, like all of them pretty much. But um, uh, M106 is nice, it's just a bit difficult if you don't... I mean, the best way to capture it is doing uh, regular RGB as well as HA, because there's so much HA in it. Uh, on our website you can see a comparison with and without HA, and there's a huge difference. So if you have an HA filter, that's a really, really great galaxy to attempt. So for the advanced targets, we have another pairing, which is M108 and M97, which is the Owl and Surf Board. And if you recall, we did do that in episode 12. And for this target, these targets, you can capture them with a smaller medium telescope, um, but they are a little difficult to capture because... Or well, the tiny. Uh, tiny, it's a bit difficult because one is a nebula, the other is a galaxy. So it's kind of difficult to, you know, uh, combine those two uh, I mean, if anything, types of objects together. It's, it's not too hard, it's just a bit tricky. Yes. Yeah. It, could, it could also fit in the beginner targets, it's, it's, just, it's just very small, yeah. And so another one which is actually much more difficult this time is the Medusa Nebula, which is, uh, I think the designation is Able 21. April 21. <laughs> um, it's a very, very small nebula. It's, it's a great looking one. I think it's mostly made of hydrogen alpha. So... Super fun. Yeah, just spend enough time on it, I guess. Um, I would say attempt this one when you feel confident enough and when you have actually uh, narrowband uh, filters. Doctors. Just, um, yeah, take your time for this one. It's kind of difficult. So those were our five recommendations for targets for the month of February. And if you guys want, you can always check out these targets online on our website and also check out the Astrophotographer's Guidebook if you need help, you know, navigating through the seasons. Super duper fun, very handy. You can keep it anywhere, in your car, in your house, wherever. They go by seasons and help you pick out targets that you would want to shoot. So we'll see you guys next time and um, yeah, clear skies. Clear skies.